All right, let's start routing. Of course, we're gonna start with a polygon to get our grounds out of the way. I wanna make it on the top layer. I wanna make sure I encompass the board. I'm not gonna try and make it perfectly in the shape of the heart. It would be too much work. Technically, we could just import our DXF again, and it would be the perfect size. However, this will be fine, and it's okay if it's outside the board, as long as you're not cutting through the board. And then rats, so it fills everything that I want to be filled. I'm gonna copy it and make one on the bottom layer. Cool, so that should eliminate all our grounds. As you can see, some of them are grounded, ground, and then all of these are grounded. So I want this width to be six mil. I don't know why that got changed. There we are. I don't know why that happened, but I noticed it when I saw the grounds and these were really thin before. All right, let's change the width to six mil and route the LEDs. All right, so let's do the power ones. And the reason why I stopped on this signal is because we're probably gonna cross over. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna route power with 10 mil. And then for our actual battery connection to the switch, straight forward like that. And then now you'll see why we need the crossover here. So we're route six mil from the bottom, switch to the top, create a via. Our via is a little large, let's make it 10 mil. That's the minimum we can do with Oshpark. And then it switches the top automatically and routes there. Let's do rats, DRC. We have one air wire. Oh, looks like I missed routing this one. Let's go ahead and route that guy. We're gonna route him on the top, six mil. Careful of the holes here. There we are. Rats, DRC, and we have no errors. Awesome, so we have our board fully routed. Next thing we're gonna do is add some of the text and labels. So I'm gonna do all the labels on the bottom because I want the top of our board to be nice and clean. I want it to be perfect and it'll be clear when we look at it in Fusion. There's no extra text that kinda, in my opinion, makes it look ugly. So I'm gonna flip to the bottom of the board and add our text, LED heart. If you made a star or something, you can do LED star or whatever name. I don't want it to be on the top though. I want it to be on B place for the bottom. Size two, ratio 20%. I want it to be visible to everybody and then we can place it wherever so we're on the bottom so this actually shouldn't interfere here so maybe something like that and then i want to put the revision number revision one make it smaller 0.5 ratio 10 is fine actually gonna put it on the same spot that it is and then move this up and then i'm gonna put my design by mr swirly eyes that's me i want to place it maybe right here on the other side and i'm going to add my trademark mirror him to the bottom and then move it maybe right there so that nothing's blocking it again it's on the bottom rats drc so now you can see it kind of on the bottom and then if we go to top then it should fade to the back cool so this completes the LED heart or LED whatever it is. Pretty much just an array of LEDs with our ATtiny84 so that we can see how projects can be put together without an Arduino Uno. We'll use an Arduino Uno as a development board and then the ATtiny or even an Atmega328 which is on the Arduino Uno as something to make a product with with no Arduino. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this project. Feel free to stick around. I'm going to do some bonus material where I show you guys what this looks like in Fusion. So a 3D model. And I'm going to see what the board looks like in Oshpark. So another debugging so you can see how some of these showed up. As well as to see what the price of the board is in case you want to order your own. Whether it's a heart or something else. So feel free to stick around. Otherwise, make fun completing the rest of the project. And I'll catch you nerds for the next one.